konbanwa. First time I'm shopping with the girls here at the grocery store since coming back from Japan. Uh, I have done like short runs to just gra grab a few ingredients, but this is the first big grocery run. I've never seen this fruit before. It's called a plum's yellow lemon. You know, I'm gonna just try a few of these. What's over, there's nothing over there. Look, the good stuff is over there. The good stuff as in the free cookie and the bakery. It's so good to be back, it really is. Our routine, our home, my kitchen, cooking. I cook there too, but nothing like at home. There is one thing I don't miss though, the really expensive prices. It almost seems as if it's double the price. And there is one big thought on my mind that's never been on my mind before after coming back from Japan is organic. Organic fruits and vegetables and products, is it worth it? What's that? You want orange? Okay, we'll get orange, okay? They don't separate the organic anymore. They have them all mixed and jumbled. So let's just do a price comparison. Three pound bag, $6.99. Two pound bag, $5.99. Now the price difference is not that big of a deal, but this is a whole pound more. So you got $3 a pound over there. This one is $2.30. So it's about 70 cents more for these. I've heard that citrus fruits you definitely want organic. But my question after Japan is, is it worth it? In Japan, I don't remember seeing a lot of organic labels. Let me know if you're Japanese or you live in Japan, because I do believe there's some type of organic label. It's not as common there. And I wonder if that's because one, the consumer doesn't care as much, or two, the standards are higher, or maybe a little bit of both, I don't know. See here, over the years, I've gotten way more lenient. I don't just look at the organic label because sometimes it's just a certification thing. If I'm buying direct from the farmers, especially if they live in the area or they're local, I totally trust them. A lot of them will tell me too at the farmer's market, they can't afford the actual fee for getting certified. So that's why they're not, even though they've got organic practices. So they just never know. These conventionally grown lemons, $1.25 each and a little bit bigger. But there is something about the way these look that are different. You can just tell there's more blemishes on organic ones. There's imperfections. And that's just a sign of nature doing its thing. When the fruit looks too perfect, the question is, how does it look like that? I know this from talking to the farmers, but also just observing fruits and vegetables, both at the farmer's market and when I go to the farms. I grew up picking strawberries, and I'll tell you this, they didn't all look perfect, but they were super delicious. And those were definitely not certified organic, but it was a small family owned farm. They wouldn't be able to afford that certification. Tell me in the comments, you tell me, what's your philosophy on it? I do value what you guys think, because everybody comes from all walks of life, all different parts of the country, of the world. In the Philippines, it's almost non-existent. Though, I remember this last time, there are. But if you're buying from the Palenque, especially if it's a locally grown thing, tropical fruit, I don't think they're spraying anything on those guys, especially bananas, right? So it just all depends, it's just so difficult. Three forty-nine a pound for honey crisp. This is what they look like. Notice they're not shiny. So that's another thing about apples specifically. Two ninety-nine. all these are shiny. So I heard they spray something on them. See, it's different depending on what you're buying. Did you know that? Did you know that? You didn't know that, okay. Yeah, no, no, not those ones. Those, though those ones are great. That's a great price right there, I'll tell you that. There we go. Yep, pick the good one. Hey, don't drop it in, you have to set it in. Watch daddy, like this. All the way down so it doesn't bruise. There you go, slowly. Fuji apples, I thought they were all the same until daddy, this last time. They're different. Fuji apples are just from the same region. Though there's probably a certain type of Fuji apple. I don't know. Organic cilantro, $2.29 each. Conventionally grown, $1.69. Quality, in terms of visually, there's a huge difference with cilantro. Just my opinion though, of course. I noticed a flavor difference for sure. Not just visually, the quality. Typically, the flavor is always better on an organic fruit, but the looks of it aren't always better. For example, 
that lemon blemishes, you know, because that's the nature. I found out from a cherry farmer, they said the reason cherries are so expensive when they're organic, they just have to give up a lot to nature. Otherwise they spray it with things where it doesn't get touched by nature. So it's, it's, not, it's not even, it's the protection of them that makes it non-organic. So when they don't protect it, they just lose a lot of it, hence making it more expensive. To be certified organic, you have to go through a lot of guidelines and rules and all kinds of stuff. So this place, they give free cookies, so. And these girls are behaving, other than when she had a tantrum. Oh, banana? Yes. All right, case in point. 79 cents per pound over here, 99 cents per pound. Visually, they look pretty dang similar. But we always buy the organic. Who wants chemicals on their fruits? You would just assume that's how they would always grow it. But the reason they use it is cost, rather than having to have farming practices that are way harder, more difficult, and time consuming. They can just spray stuff on there and make it easier for them. Hence, it's cheaper, right, in this case. But then sometimes, the reason they need pesticides or all the those chemicals is because they're not using the most natural techniques in farming. I don't even know, I'm not a farmer. I, I garden and I do learn a lot from there, but then there's certain chemicals where it's not that big of a deal or they're using natural chem, I don't know. But I do like having the discussion, not only with you guys here, comments, reading people's perspectives and philosophies, but also talking to farmers, other gardeners, and especially experts. Okay, really? There's certain foods you never see organic, like Asian pears. I've never seen them organic before. And you know what's funny? This is very easy to grow. Maybe that's why. Uh, Judy's mom and dad had an Asian pear tree and they grew like crazy and they looked just like this. They never sprayed it. There was just an abundance of it. So yeah, there's certain stuff that just grows easily. If you grow, fruits and vegetables in the areas it's supposed to grow, for example, tropical fruits in the Philippines, and you grow them in the season they're supposed to be growing, nature does all the work for you. As long as you tend to the plants, you make sure the dirt's healthy, lots of you know, nutrients in there, whatnot, natural fertilizer. You don't need to do much. My tomatoes, I don't use any, any sprays, no nothing. I don't use miracle Grow. I use very natural foods, I guess you could say. Sometimes no food, just make sure to have healthy dirt. The best tasting tomatoes, which reminds me we need tomatoes. Hey, let's go look for tomatoes. These are the best tomatoes that you can get that are organic. But I can tell just from having a lot of experience growing tomatoes, these were probably grown in a greenhouse, which is very normal, but it didn't ripen fully. It's not that deep red color. The best way to know is to grow grow your own fruits and vegetables, grow some herbs. The best lesson about organic foods, about what should be organic, what doesn't need to be organic, but just from experience. That's why everyone should garden, even if it's just tomatoes. You know, one thing that isn't common in Japan, and I didn't eat it very much in the Philippines, is avocados. Conventionally grown is $1.50. These are $2.50. Avocados, when you buy organic, super expensive. You wanna get one? Go ahead, pick two of them, okay? But you have to give it to me so I can put it over here. Yeah, that, that's a great one. Give it to me, daddy. Three, two? Get two more, because mommy likes her avocado toast. Yeah, that one. And then one more, because I asked for two. There you go, that's a good one. Yeah, that one, since you touched it already. All right, good. Also buying locally, avocados are a great example of this. Avocados are so easy to grow in tropical areas. People give them away. I remember in Hawaii, people giving us their avocados because they just fall off the tree and go to, uh, they would just be wasted. One reason avocados are expensive probably is because it costs so much to transport because they do bruise easily. I don't know if they transfer. That's another thing too. Buying local, buying what grows in your area. Uh, apples, for example way more expensive in places where it doesn't grow here way cheaper garlic is one of those things i have a love hate relationship with in terms of buying organic this pack is 4.49 it's organic these are dollar 25 each way bigger way nicer looking than these tiny guys now you would assume it maybe they're using some kind of miracle grow on these and these ones don't but i've bought an organic garlic that looked 
exactly the same, nothing different. And they were great, tasted great. So why are these so small? I have no idea. Oh, another thing too is uh, sometimes I don't buy the organic because they grow the green sprouts in them. I bought in um, garlic from the farmer's market that can go for six months in my pantry without getting the green sprout. So again, love-hate relationship. When you eat at a restaurant, I have a feeling it's almost never organic unless they're sourcing locally from farmers or local partners that they have. If you work at a restaurant, especially if you're a chef or cook, tell me, what do you look for? Is it something that even matters to you? It, 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 I imagine cost is huge. You can't afford to charge too much, especially when uh, inflation is so nuts right now. When I go to a restaurant, I don't ask, hey, are you using organic tomatoes? I just eat whatever they serve me. I don't have any qualms. I have no dogma when it comes to food. If you make um, home cooked food, whether it's at your house or for a get together, uh, and including at restaurants, I just eat it. I don't even think about it. But when I buy stuff for myself and for the family and these girls, I'm always thinking about it. What do you say? First time I got a sample. I mom. Leah was worried we'd forget mommy. Hey, I got mommy a sample, okay? Is it good? You deserve that because you've been so good. Thank you very much for being helpful and calm. I have this thing about bread. When it goes into the plastic, something changes. I don't know if it's something to do with the moisture, but I prefer it not enclosed in plastic like this. It loses some of that crunch. These are super soft. You know, when you toast it, it's fine. And in fact, it does last longer because when you do have it out in a paper bag, it gets super hard. One food, or I guess in this case, drink, that I never lean towards organic is coffee. So this is a brand that I do like, Tony's Coffee. Solid, it's good, it's also organic. But yeah, the Vivace coffee beans, those are definitely not organic. I've talked to people that roast coffee and they say that the farmers that they get the coffee beans from, they just can't afford the certification. It, it would break their business if they even tried to, even though they're organically grown. Smaller farmers, they are doing it. Back to the cereal. Whoa, Cinegram Cinnamon Toast Crunch. When I went to Walmart that day with Leah, I saw so many Cinnamon Toast Crunch variations. Oh, what? Marshmallow Fruity Pebbles. See, that's one thing in Japan they don't have very much of is really colorful processed foods like this. Obviously in candy, but not in their cereals as much. Some new stuff here. Whoa, Cinnamon French Toast Frosted Flakes? That actually sounds really good. Never seen that either. You want to get that one? Yeah, it's still always a go-to. Wait, this is the large size, is it? Oh no, no, there's an even larger size than that. Look at this, this family size right here. So when I shop, I'm always looking at this. This is 42.5 cents per ounce. This one's 44.6. Oh yeah. How about this? How about the Choco Chimps? Choco Chimps, what about this one? I think that's a good one. What do you think? You want that one? Okay, go ahead, grab it, put it in the bottom, please. Thank you. You know what's interesting is I have a couple chef friends, Matt specifically, he doesn't necessarily care about organic, or maybe he does, but for the most part, like a lot of chefs, they don't think anything of it. And that actually changed my mind about organic foods, because if the chefs don't even care about that, then, I mean, who knows more about food than chefs, okay? I'm gonna get this one. It does have flax seeds, but not as many. The other one was just freaking swimming in flax seeds. This is kind of a shock to see this, how few options we have for ramen. This would have looked like a lot, plenty of options, but dude, this is so small. If we were in Japan or even the Philippines, this whole aisle, this part of the aisle would all be ramen, instant ramens. Good old cup of noodles. That was fun when we went to the factory. Let's see if there's some flavors that are unique to America. I don't think so. Hot and spicy, chili sauce. Well, this is the first time I've seen top ramen in a container like this. And this is what I grew up on. The cheapest of the cheap, you know, 19 cents a bag kind of thing. Okay, show me what you got. Oh, really? Starburst? Starburst? Okay, you can get it because you're so good. Well, this is interesting like this. No added MSG. 
First time I've ever seen this. Damn, that's how expensive. This, when you buy online, or at least back in the day, was only 11 bucks. Actually, I, I've seen it as low as 10 bucks. Oh, 15 bucks is 50% more. I'm gonna go ahead and skip that for today. Speaking of beef fat, there was a brand of uh, animal fat that I used to use, and it was organic forever. And then it changed to non-organic. So I don't know if they uh, couldn't afford the certification or they just decided, hey, it wasn't worth it because it was making our prices so expensive. But guess what? I still bought it. The quality didn't change. So the question is, what's the difference? One of the items on my list today is black vinegar. I was gonna make spicy garlic noodles with these Taiwanese noodles from another creator named Tiff Cooks. The recipe that she has on her YouTube reels. So here's an interesting organic dynamic. This is not certified organic. It just is made with organic pasta. Right here, this is the one you like. Trust me, this one. This is the one that we always make for you, right here. There you go, see? Eddie knows what's up. Okay, now this one, funny enough, is certified organic. Made with organic pasta. This one is full on organic. They just need to make the two box version of this because one box just isn't enough, even for one person. Okay, this is interesting. I just noticed this. I was looking for the family size like that, which that's a good deal, $5.99. I was looking for that brand. Look at this, family size made with organic pasta again. But $5.39, $5.39 for that huge box, which is basically two of the small ones. Oh, it's not quite two. This one's $5.39 just for the tiny box. That one's a spicy one? Let me see. Oh, wow. Cheetos mac and cheese. Sounds like something daddy would have got when he was younger. We've got some hot dogs at home. Our $3.99, the brand we get, which is organic, and it's called Naked because it's probably real simple ingredients, $4.99. Is it worth it? I think so. In breads, there's a lot of preservatives. This is why we're so lucky that Obachan makes us sourdough bread. But for hot dog buns, we don't really have a choice. You know, I actually don't mind that everything takes a little longer with these girls. I'm here for two reasons. One, to shop for food. Two, give Judy a break. She was tired, she was gonna take a nap, and then these girls woke up from their naps early. I don't know what happened there, but. Okay, one thing that's definitely different in America, we love our ketchup, I mean, on a whole nother level. There's so many different brands, popular brands like Heinz, uh, organic ones like Annie's. Uh, what else is, uh, I mean, chili sauce or ones, uh, ones with sriracha in it, uh, local ones over there. This is a brand we often buy, the Heinz. America's probably number one brand, regular tomato ketchup. Then they've got this, simply Heinz tomato ketchup. No artificial sweeteners. That's a good thing, we don't want artificial sweeteners. And then now, and they got organic. Then they got the organic one certified. It's almost double the price for the organic one, 10 bucks. That's a medium sized bottle. This giant sized bottle, 10 bucks for this huge one. It lasts you way longer. Just found this one, no sugar added. Well, I don't want sugar added, but is that normal? You got this one, this is their, their store brand. No high fructose corn syrup, 50% less sodium. You know, oftentimes with uh, ketchup, I just get whatever is on sale. Now I'm just gonna get this one right here. The organic one, 529, best deal. Star brand. Eggs, eggs, eggs. Should you buy organic or not? All right, so you can get this huge thing of organic eggs, 18 bucks. How many are in there? 60 eggs in that thing. That's a good deal. And then you got this one, which is probably the most bougie or the most fancy ones. Just for 12 is 10 bucks. Also get this one if that one's not available in the 18 pack. The 18 pack is 12 bucks. There's not really conventionally grown ones anymore. They're almost all Organic now, that's kind of crazy. Now here you go, these are the conventional ones, okay? Six bucks for 18. Now that's a deal, that's half the price of these other fancy ones. Thank you very much for helping me. Okay, here's a good example of how eggs can be confusing. Organic, nice. These ones are free range. Free range means that they have space to roam. Free range, space to roam. 
pasture raised. This is a great example of it. They actually are on the pasture, green fields. They can eat bugs, which are great for the egg yolks. You have to pay more for each one of these. Okay, these ones are soy free. Not necessarily organic, but they don't have soy based feed for the, for the chickens. These ones are blue. Oh, cool, it's mixed. Now in Japan, I don't remember as many options, but the quality is there. And I never care about if it's pasture raised, if it's organic, because you can just taste it in the egg. It's better tasting. The egg yolks are super orange. It's kind of important to Japanese people here. Not as important, but I didn't, you know, I've talked to farmers and they say that it doesn't necessarily tell you the quality of the chicken or the eggs, how deep the color is, because you can manipulate the color feeding your your chickens uh, carrot scraps. The beta carotene from the carrots actually make the egg yolks more orange. Don't get me started on milk. These days we just buy the organic milk from Costco. Hey, which flavors you want? There's cherry, there's blueberry. Which one you guys want? Blueberry, okay. Here, I'll put it in there, okay? You guys just tell me. Blueberry, okay? Here, I'll get it. What's that? You want some tonight? Yeah, you guys can have one tonight, okay? Uh, do you want raspberry? What about strawberry? You want raspberry tomorrow? They convinced me to get the Yakult. I think this is $5.99, by the way. How much is it where you live, Yakult? I have a feeling it's way cheaper. Flamin' Hot Cheddar and Sour Cream. I'm gonna buy it. You get a deal if you buy three bags of chips. There you go. Put that up there. You wanna help? You wanna help? Okay, put this, here, you put this one and you put this one up there. There you go. Can you put it up there? All right, so today's bill came out to 176 bucks. That's four full bags of food plus another smaller bag. I have a feeling if this was Japan, it'd be a little bit less. Now I always say one of the reasons the bill's a little bit less. I mean, that's still a while, 176 bucks, but that'll last us for a while, is because I didn't buy meat. If I bought meat or alcohol, like wine, you know, these days I'm just not drinking as much or if I do buy it, I'm buying it from Costco, so it's a little bit cheaper because I'm buying it in bulk. And of course, I wonder if I bought all non-organic stuff, how much less it would be. I have a feeling it'd be about easily 150, maybe 140 even. Time to go home. You girls ready to go home?